Hello everybody, my name is Breed and today we're going to be drawing some birds. Uh, it's the start of spring and there is lots of activity outside with the birds and especially in some of the gardens and parks nearby there is um, some birds um, coming in looking for food. They might be a little bit hungry after the winter. Their natural food sources might be after drying up a little bit so they're coming in trying to find the bird feeders and uh, food that people have left out for them. Um, I have picked four birds from four different bird families. Um, and so they look very different um, from each other, different colors and markings and shape. We're going to be yeah, trying to get their shape um, right. Um, so um, I have a couple of pictures here to show you now. So here we have beautiful goldfinch, um, stunning colors. And, and there's lots of these in the gardens at uh, this time of year. Um, and lovely red on their uh, face and the black and white and uh, the stunning yellow as well. And then we have this little guy um, he's a black cap from the warbler family and um, they love, as you can see, this guy is on an apple. So if you have no seeds to put out, maybe even put out an apple for this little guy. He's small and chunky in size. This guy is the blackbird, which you might know, um, very common. And um, they're mostly black all over and have this beautiful orange yellow eye ring um, a ring around its eye and this beautiful orange yellow beak and this guy is my favorite uh, it's a song thrush and around the same size as the bl blackboard before it they're the last two are kind of twice the size um, as the first two so we'll be making making these guys a little bit bigger and I just love the speckles on this guy and they love to sing, obviously, which is why they're called a song thrush. So firstly, what I'd like you to do is I'll put the pictures up again and you just run your finger around the outline of the bird. So you're just trying to see the shape. Just trying to feel your way around the shape. See it's round down here and then comes out for the beak and they're all a little bit different. The first two are a bit the same. This guy is a little bit more round. And what we're going to start doing is, firstly, is we're just going to be drawing two circles, one for the body and one for the head. So do that with each bird. So here I've just done an outline of a small bird and um, you can see the round shape here that you've followed with your finger and that's a really great thing to do if you're drawing anything. It's kind of air drawing like years ago we used to play air guitar. Um, so it's, it's just drawing around the shape with your finger. But here I broke it down into two circles. So we can see this here is just the large circle for the body and it's just like that and it's it's an egg shape. This one is very like an egg and some are a little bit longer and some are a little bit shorter and wider. Um, and then we have the round uh, for the head and they always have this little overlap here as well. So you overlap the two, um, two circles. So, and then afterwards we'll fill in just the, this part here. And there's always a bit to fill in here. And then the beak, depending on which bird and how small, and then the tail. Um, so, so we're, we're going to, to look end up with each bird like this um, on your page. And it's, uh, the four body shapes and four head shapes. So we're going to look at the birds themselves and draw the shapes. So first you have the goldfinch and it's kind of a long oval shape, more like a potato. 
um, and you can see you can draw that on your page. If you need more time, just press pause where you're drawing and we'll move on then to his head shape. So the head, as you can see, sits on top of the um, body shape and there's a good overlap. So try and look at that when you're when you're drawing it. Then the warbler is like um, a more of a round shape because he's he's uh, wider, um, small, but wider. And then the head is actually just a smaller, um, smaller shape on the side of his body. So he uh, does he overlaps quite a bit. Then you have the blackbird do the blackbird bigger and that's a lovely long kind of um Again, like a potato shape, but a slender one. And the head is quite long and slender too. And then this song thrush. And the song thrush again is more kind of like an egg, a little bit rounder. And then the lovely head shape on top again. See how much it overlaps and where the shape is on top of that body. So here we have our shapes and I've just started filling in um, the other other elements to the bird. Um, and I'll just do this one. And this is the goldfinch and I just have drawn his tail on the body. I'm going to put the picture up of the four together and you can look at that and and see the tails and the their beaks and and where they where they come out and then the, their different markings so you can start to color them. So up at the head, the head, the circle joins the head, uh, the circle joins the body there and you just do that um, and say so we'll do the blackbird here. Uh, so you join the head there um, and again you can be looking at the bird while you're doing this and you can see where they try, try and see where they actually join. There's the body and then you come down and the tail maybe goes out something like something like this. All right. Um, and then we go on to their beak. The blackbird is kind of looking upwards and you just do the beak. Say something like that. And the head, the eyes then are always around the same line as the beak. So to maybe do a little line here. You can rub out some of these lines and do the eye that looking the same direction as the beak. And then when you color them in as well, let's start to look a little bit more like themselves. So, uh, and then the legs then always come out towards the front. And again, you can be looking at the picture when you're doing this, which I'm not at the moment. So anyway, um, and again, the song trush join the head to the body down along, do their tail and legs and their feet. Her beak is a little more out towards the side. And then the eye then at the same um, direction. Um, the warbler then is kind of a different shape. Um, again, join the head to the body and see the tail kind of goes up this way and the feet are kind of down here the legs are down here and the beak is looking out this way and again do a little line there and draw the eye so here is one i did earlier and i colored them in then um, and as you can see they still have um little bits of little bits of the um, circular shapes and things and we can we can rub those out um, if we like. So here we have right. four birds together and I think it's nice to look at them like this and uh, complete them. You might be still drawing their heads or joining their heads and they're drawing their tails and their legs, their beaks and their eyes and you can see how they differ from each other. Um, but mostly their shapes are pretty much the same. So get out your colors, whatever colors you're using, 
uh, colouring pencils, paint, crayons, markers and have fun trying to get the different markings and colours of all the different birds and the speckles and things on the song thrush which I particularly loved doing. So I also uh, cut them out when I was finished this. I hung them up on this little bit of a branch here um, and I'm going to put it in my window. So I think that's kind of a nice way place to put them and then if I spot any more birds I might add a little bit more to it. Um, so yeah I'd love you to have a go and if you do uh, please do send in some pictures we'd love to see them. Thank you.